The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hey, good morning. Michael here. And today we're looking again at Psalm 7. Trying to focus on the first five verses. But just wanted to lend an overview today before we get into the meat and potatoes of it in the coming days. And Matthew Henry synopsis uh, the first five verses by saying, it appears by the title that this psalm was penned with a particular reference to the malicious imputations that David was unjustly laid under by some of his enemies. Being thus wronged, he applied to God for favor, verse 1 and 2. And he appeals to God concerning his innocency as to those things whereof he was accused. But as we look at the treasury of David, we get uh, we look at here now at an overview of the whole psalm. And so he writes, titled, Shigayon of David which he sang unto the Lord concerning the word of Cush the Benjamite. Shigeon of David, as far as we can gather from the observation of learned men, and from a comparison of this psalm with the only other Shigeon in the word of God, Habakkuk 3.1, this title seems to mean variable songs, with which also the idea of solace and pleasure is associated. Truly, our life psalm is composed of variable verses. One stanza rolls along with the sublime meter of triumph, but another limps with the broken rhythm of complaint. There is much bass in the saints' music here below. Our experience is as variable as the weather in England. <laughs> From the title, we learn the occasion of the composition of this song. It appears probable that Cush the Benjamite had accused David to Saul of treasonable conspiracy against his royal authority. This the king would be ready enough to credit, both from his jealousy of David and from the relation which most probably existed between himself, the son of Kish, and this Cush or Kish the Benjamite. He who is near the throne can do more injury to a subject than an ordinary slanderer. This may be called the song of the slandered saint. Even this serest of evils may, flush, may flourish occasion for a psalm. What a blessing it would be if we could turn even the most disastrous event into a theme for song and so turn the tables up on our great enemy. Let us learn a lesson from Luther, who once said, David made psalms, we also will make psalms, and sing them as well as we can to the honor of our God, and to spite and mock the devil. Division In the first and second verses, the danger is stated, and prayer is offered, then the psalmist most solemnly avows his innocency. The Lord is pleaded with to arise to judgment. The Lord, sitting upon his throne, hears a renewed appeal of the slandered suppliant. The Lord clears his servant and threatens the wicked. The slanderer is seen in visions, bringing a curse upon his own head while David retires from trial, singing a hymn of praise to his righteous God. We have here a noble sermon upon that text. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against thee in judgment thou wilt condemn. And so this is just an overview. I included a graphic of the definition of Shagayan, and so we look forward to getting into the real exposition 
on the verse individually, especially in regards to the first five verses. Uh, likely tomorrow. Trust you enjoyed the intro to Psalm 7 and the overview. Michael here declaring Jesus is Lord. And trust you enjoyed the sweetness of the word. Until next time, be blessed.